the arena's got that old feeling. 16 years this building's been around and it's rocking like yesteryear. Number seven, Texas comes in to take on the Razorbacks of Arkansas. That's a good point. And Arkansas at home, they've won 42 straight non-conference games, six consecutive against the top 25. Mike Stewart, J.B. Caldwell, John Hampton, our referees. Pittman and Washington are set to go. The 151st meeting between the Horns and the Hogs in front of 19,000 from Fayetteville and Bud Walton Arena. And here we go. And it's going to be controlled by... And they turn Texas over. Boy, nice speed inside immediately to Damian James. Defensively can just clamp you down. Underneath is Washington. Got it. Didn't he do a nice job of not getting in a hurry? He got his feet. Nice pass to Washington. That great timing on the slip of the on-ball screen. If that slipper goes too quick, it's not there. And if the slipper goes too late, it's not there. The timing is what made the play. Oh, great extra pass by Mason, who got it down low to James. And with the ball all the way to the right. Knocked out of there by Washington. His 14th block shot of the season. Ball Bay can really get in the lane, watching him play in person in Maui. He just can't finish right now. Here's Welsh, who got around him all the way to the baseline. Nice in this game. Looks like they're going to go to the first TV timeout with a lead. How big will the lead be as well scores again? The front court. Half the crowd on its feet right now. Here's Clark for three. Got it. Too much slack out of the defense. Abrams has missed two long balls now, but underneath it's Johnson cleaning up for him. Johnson with four, and the lead is two. Welsh, Washington, and a slam. Texas trying to answer with a three. Well, that was like a long pass right there. He was out there defensively right now. Nice push pass inside. Pittman just muscles it and almost brought down the entire back. He's got Mason right on his hip, and he lost the ball. Texas has Fortson out of control in this ball game. James just hammers it on the other end for nine points for James. Timeout, Arkansas pass. Longhorns ranked seventh in the country by five. Again, Mason, the one-handed layup, and this time the doctor saved it. Welsh, a runner, got it. Arkansas is now starting to fire from the perimeter, and Texas continues to go right to the red part of the floor. They own that real estate right now in this ball. Here's drive inside, and a good one. Brandon Moore. Time score now, 31-27, as we head to Carl Ravage and the guys in the Dick Sporting Good Halftime Report. Fellas. To be concerned, Arkansas only one out of 11 from the three. Boy, the quick drive by Justin Mason. He's only got two field goals to lead. And a point guard is out of control right now for Arkansas. I think I'd get him out of there. Russ has got 10. He's trying to hold the thing together with blue. But will it stick? And will Texas go back inside? Because the building is trying to explode again. Do they go back inside like the first half? Mason leaves it for James, who hammers it home. Here's it off to Welsh. Welsh is one of the guys that's had a good game tonight. He'll go deep. And the rebound is Fortson. There's your shooter right there. Clark, long ball. Got it! With a four-point lead to the break, they've stretched it to six, and they're on the fly inside again. And it's James, who's got 15. Win over a top-ten team for the second time in a week after beating Oklahoma last week. But the going has been tough. But Michael Washington maybe just made it a little... Here it is again. Johnson had it stripped. Fortson comes up with a loose ball. Try to take it coast to coast. Does! His first field goal of the ball game. And it's a big one. Lead down to four. Fortson kick out to Welsh for three. Got it! The one guy that Arkansas has on the floor right now just burned Texas. No reason to help off of Stephon Welsh.
Davis. He's the only guy that you have to worry about right now. His 24th three-pointer, and Jimmy called it. Couldn't have come at a better time. Abrams trying to answer and does. How many teams in the country on the road against a quality team could have that lead with the best player not playing well? Oh, boy. Sweet move by Washington. Just a long... Abrams just made a basket, so Arkansas better get on him because he's got a little bit of confidence. There he goes with a three. You never want to give a three-point shooter and some shots in, but he better get back to that paint. Or the extra pass to James in the paint. James with 17 with three. Three on the shot clock. Washington's got to hoist up a three and a go. And the game is down to three again. Texas has followed it so far in this game. Each team playing with a little bit of foul trouble. But here's a steal by Fortson. Ahead to Welsh. Got it! One point game. Seven on the shot clock. They get it inside. Now they get it going. And it might be the same result. Clark just standing over there on the baseline. It's Fortson that pushes it up and in. Brad, he will take Texas answer. Time is of the essence. Pittman. Nice move by the big guy. And a chance for the basket. Rebound comes off to Abrams on the run. Try to tie the game. Follow by both James and Mason. And well, off the out of bounds. Three for us. Texas fell asleep. Off the out of bounds play. Once again, John Pelfrey goes for the throat. He comes with a spin. Fortune on a drive. Somebody got a piece of it and it still went in. Ford inside. Well on the shot clock. Abrams, their long ball expert, looking for a screen. On a runner, he scores. That's the right in regulation. Monk trying to kick it out, lost the handle. Taken away by Mason. Ahead to Ward. Ward with a left hand. Tips it in. All the way in. Now bring it back out. Here's Washington. On the drive. by Courtney Fortune before he finally finds Mike Washington. A terrific job. You saw John Pelfrey talking to Fortune coming out of the timeout. We'll bring it up court. Abrams, long three. Rebound kept alive. He'll take another one. And rimmed it out. Still alive. He backs up and fires again. Arkansas is going to win it.